resignations and appointments. <coughs> uh, a letter from the Republican Town Committee, uh, recommendation to appoint to a composition. Uh, Mr. Dominic Morelli for the Human Services Advisory Board to fill a vacancy of the term expiring 6 30, 2014. Motion on that? I make the motion to approve Dominic Morelli. Second on it? Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? None. That's on motion carried. Carrie, you want to talk about it now? Well, if nobody has any questions, but uh, this is a, a very well qualified individual. Oh, yeah. No, no, yeah, sure. he's, um, he's a retired detective from the Waterbury Police Department, but he did an awful lot of um, volunteer service in the similar board in Waterbury. Mm -hmm. And um, this is something that's always been near and dear to him, and he's uh, he's been a mentor. He moved to Clinton five years ago, but he's been a mentor in the Elliott mentoring program already. He's one of those guys who is um, has a lot to give, and we are very glad to have him. I think he's a wonderful addition to that board. Good, good. It's a good board. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. All right. Connecticut Solar Challenge. Gail oh, Spence. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Going back to appointments. Okay. Yeah. The RTC also made a second appointment right. that was to be on the agenda for this week. Right. And uh, personally, I don't understand how that could be removed. It wasn't when, removed. It was never on the agenda. Well, I asked to have it put on the agenda. You didn't ask me. I sent you the email. I know. Yeah, saying I, I asked to have it Here's what happened. Agenda. First of all, that is a the school board building committee is not a political appointment. I know. Not, a, not a single person on that committee was recommended by either the DTC or the RTC. And... It's not going to no, start. I don't know if that's true. I mean, it, what about uh, Peggy Sullivan? And, not from the DTC uh, or the RTC. Ethelene no. DeBona. No, that was a board of ed. Board of ed. Yeah. Um, Those are members at large that came forward in the beginning of the process or went towards the beginning of the process. Well, the, the problem that I'm looking at here is that the appointment that we recommended is someone who has an awful lot to bring to the table. The horses are out of the barn Huge at this point. And it's experience. not the time to be adding to that committee. And was nominated to that committee six, seven months ago, and we were told at that time that this would not happen because the committee was too big. Well, now with a vacancy on the board with day counts and retiring, and this is someone who stayed up to, has stayed up to speed on what's going on with the project. I don't think so. It just so. seemed like a really well, good... Well, John's on the committee. Yeah. I mean, my opinion is the committee should decide whether they need to... Exactly. Stay, stay. Exactly. Committee. That is my point, is right. that this is something that should be brought to the committee for that And that's that why it's decision. not on the agenda. Well, just to arbitrarily drop it here, we can make a recommendation. It's never been on the agenda. We didn't drop it. I, I'm going to discuss it with you. I talked to John on the other day about it. I and know. I talked I to know. the person you talked about. I know. I know. I said, should I, I put it on the agenda? And John says, no, we're going to talk to the committee. So... I just, I just think I that think it should be on the agenda so we can at least discuss it. Well, we're discussing it now. I know, but I just don't think it's it's being handled correctly. I don't want to bring it to a vote. Because if if one selectman is allowed to say, no, let's not put that name on there because we don't want to, believe me, I could have used that option several weeks ago. It didn't go away. That's, that's the point. It hasn't gone away. It's just I want it to go to the committee. Okay. All right. Did so. the committee ask for there to be... No. someone to fill no. Davis okay, So I think it should go to the committee and they should decide whether or not they need somebody else to fill that spot. My view on it is I think if she's going to go on, I would have... That has not been offered to that candidate. She would have been helpful when she originally I thought she was going to get put on. Now, I can only say I think that, unfortunately, with having the owner's rep and taking care of that end of it, the contracts and... Hey, <laughs> I think Kim's... Putting, I, the, putting the contracts aside, this is a person who's hugely experienced in construction, no, I, and that's where we are at this no, point. No, I, I, but there's nothing. She has a lot to bring to the table. Can I say something? We had asked her to represent the police commission on that committee. Just so you know. I know. Okay, I just wanted. And we, and I just wanted to know that that, point. that that we had asked, and there wasn't any room. So if someone has right. resigned, then. Well, that's my point. I think it should go to the committee. It should go to the committee. Right. 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 Right.
Well, that was exactly why. Even though it's a state road, you have to have this blessing. And you're talking about exactly. having more stoplights and... Well, but that's well that was why. But this is a multifaceted individual, too, so, yeah. But I want to jam somebody now on the committee stroke. I want the no, committee... No, it should go to the committee, it. and it's from the police commission. But we would... The traffic commission. We wouldn't be approving her. We would be re recommending her for approval. Well, her name's going to the committee for them to decide, and then they can come back to us and say, put her on. There's been a problem with the HVAC system and the PD for years. We talked about buying a second boiler because we only have one boiler, and mm -hmm. if we lose heat, electricity, or in time or storm, that, that is where the, the EOC is. When we can't be in the building if there's no heat, heat electricity dependent on. So we talked with Pete. Pete helped us hire an engineer to go through the system. The engineer found a bunch. That's 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 not there. Found a bunch of problems with with the system. So before we went ahead with the plastic boiler, I used my current line items budget to repair a bunch of the system's errors that they found in the system. Then it turned out that it was going to be a bigger project than I personally can handle because I'm not an, an HVAC guy. I spoke to Pete and Willie and we, now the municipal building committee is helping us design a better uh, plan to try to address those issues in the system. So part of while they were going through the problem, they found out that the main pump that pushes the water for the HVAC system was bad. When they went to replace the pump, the valves on top of the um, system were bad. So that's what that bill is to replace the I didn't plan on, you know, it was just so money I probably would have had I used to repair the engineers' recommendations to try to make the system work. To, um, Correct, no, no, I just want to clarify just so you understand. Basically, we in this current year budget, I think we have thirty thousand or twenty thirty thousand dollars for and see, see. Uh, heating and cooling. <clears throat> Probably heating and cooling because heating and cooling because we're gonna put in it in capital. In the capital budget, there's under heating and cooling, there's thirty thousand dollars that was gonna go for this new boiler. It turns out that as Pete in the in the building committee, you know, it's, there's bigger problems than just the boiler. We need to address these other problems before we go ahead and look at that. So instead of taking the money out of CEC, the thirty thousand, he's been paying for it out of building repair and maintenance, just to try and keep some of this small stuff. Not, I don't want to say small stuff, but make these other repairs as we get towards this bigger repair or whatever the uh, building committee comes up with. So Jim, when I see CEC on here, this is current money you have yeah. from CEC. Current, this all 13 not, bucks. This is not a request from the court. No, okay. no, no, what it is, I, both agenda items are kind of, are kind of interwound. I need the money because I did a lot of repairs on the engineers that we needed to do out of my current repair and maintenance because there are repairs. So time this bill has been paid? No. I, all I, right, so this money is just to pay the bill. Yeah, and then and that would be like six hundred dollars to carry for the rest yeah, of the month. The rest of the year. The rest of the year. I mean, it was just. All right, give me two minutes. But then we're going to go after Let's go. the system with that very right. 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 court, which seems to be seven years old. Eight years old. Eight years old. Right. And, and, and you've been complaining about these. This it's system an ongoing issue. At least three years. Yes. Well, you can see it was wrong from day one. Right. And that's what. We're over there kind of, or not maybe. Trying to sort through. Committee and engineers and, and the HVAC contractor trying to figure it out. Not just go buy a boiler because we think that's going to work. We really want to, it might be more controls and stuff like that. And then see how that works. I mean, we've had, or we, they hired a professional to come in and evaluate the system and see who, what really is wrong. So we're probably going a little different direction, but there is money in there to fund Whatever it is. Yeah, I brought it up because I think we're on their, on their agenda to talk about that issue, and that explains why I'm, I need money in my current line item repair because I used my money to repair that report you saw. I fixed right. a whole bunch of the stuff that, that I could afford to fix. Mm -hmm. Some stuff that you saw was the reputation so to fix. Instead of making a capital improvement with the CEC money, you the, um, Instead of they haven't they haven't used used we haven't touched yeah. they haven't touched yeah. CEC yeah. yet but because we wanted we wanted the building committee and, and in a second they're going to talk about that I don't know if you want to oh, oh, they haven't oh, touched well, let's care let's take care of transfer yeah, first yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, 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 they are separate items but they are kind of all part of the scheme so 
a plan. Okay, so do you want to approve the transfer request? Make a motion to approve it. Yeah. Second. Second. Okay, any discussion further on that? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No abstentions. All right, now what the, what the, the plan and the agenda item is. Is a request to take that CEC from the 1213 that was approved in 1213 for a second boiler at the, at the police station and reallocate it, to, just change it to HVAC. Just and to clarify that, basically right now it says heating and cooling. I don't know if we necessarily need to even reallocate it, but if you want to make it HVAC or whatever, the, the point being that... It says heating and cooling, but the intent was to buy a boiler. Correct. Correct. The intent right. was to buy a boiler. So, and at this point, we're not going to do that because the... What the engineer has said, and people can probably fill it in. Todd, just very quickly, I was called into this when they were talking about replacing the boiler. It became obvious the boiler was a secondary issue to everything else that's wrong with the heating and ventilation system in the building. We, I hired to work with an engineer to come in and evaluate the building. They made some recommendations. And the issue we get to now is it's a kind of a tiered problem. We then talked about recommended to really that it be assigned to the municipal building committee, which has more people with expertise on it. And we've had several meetings, and we're going through a process of looking at how do we approach it because there is no one simple fix. So we have to prioritize what needs to be done, which is what John's talking about. And uh, in order to do that, we have to have some flexibility. They came in and said they were going to buy a boiler. We're not going to use it to buy a boiler at this point. We're going to have to do some other things first. And so what Todd and the police department is making absolutely clear is that that money will be used towards the HVAC, but not towards its original intent at this point in time. There's just no sense putting in a boiler into a system that isn't working correctly at this point. You know, I just have a general question. This building is eight years old. Mm -hmm. In this town, that's brand new. It's a baby. It's a baby. Okay. Was this system under-engineered under from the beginning? Was it a bad system? I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna tell you what I'll just tell you what we found, and I don't know how it happened or who did it, who did or how this all came out the way it did. Quite simply, the control system that's in there that runs all the heating in it, it's a uh, proprietary system which only one company can service and change. The control system in there, when we brought the heating engineers in to look at it, because the controls do not match what's actually in the building. Uh, where the control says there's a certain piece of equipment, that equipment's not there, it's somewhere else. So what's happening is we've done as much as we can to straighten out, or actually Todd and Tom and the police department, how that control system works. We found things that weren't serviced. We found filters that hadn't been changed and, you know, since the building was new. But it's really coming down here, the point is that the control system needs to be updated, needs to be changed, software installed, so that we can actually control the systems in place right now. And is this second boiler necessary? No. Don't, uh, not yet. Not yet. We, I'm not sure. There's insulation problems, there's ventilation problems, there's... So yeah, correcting the issues right. may eliminate the need for a second... May eliminate the It may, need for it may boiler. not. I mean, it may be necessary to put the second boiler to heat a different part of the building. We're just not, until we... Like I said, right. it's a tiered approach. Yeah, there's no single exactly. answer, but the first answer is to straighten out the controls that operate the HVA system, which right now are... And it's very expensive. It's very expensive. It's a software. And we it's did it at the library. Hardware onto each of the control boxes that open and close and allow heat and everything to go through. So that's where the committee's researching right now. And I just want to say I appreciate Willie and the, the and Pete, especially John, the, the committee coming in because quite honestly, we're not HVAC people. We get a contractor and we the contractor comes in and we pretty much go with what the contractor says. This the system basically, as Pete said, this control system isn't doing what it says it's gonna do. It says there's a fan here at this T. It's really not here, it's over here. So when the system turns it on, it's not doing what the system thinks it's supposed to do, that kind of stuff. I mean, that's... And from day one, I don't think it was ever... Correct. Balanced, I don't think Balanced, it was right. well, I'll tell you, my fear, my underlying fear, is that was a relatively small project compared to what we're well, on the cusp of up there. I'm just so afraid that, you know... And we have commissioning well, agents and all Well, that. that's another thing, how we've changed yes. the town. Right. Municipal building has, you know, maybe this might it be the last thing. But we also have a guy 
for most of these projects now is supervising. You know, right. you know, uh, there's not going to be like that guy has some... to know what he's looking at right. and, and how things work. Okay, well, so the school we'll get to in a second, but say for general building stuff in town now, everything's basically going to go through a municipal building. If, if I'm yeah, right. yeah, which okay, is so which is different. You don't have the right. park and rec building something. No, you don't I have the WASAM group building something. You and don't I know have how proactive you guys so, are. It's... And the committee works well together, and there's a lot of different people on there that have a lot of different strengths. Mm -hmm. So, I going forward, I think that's a good thing mm -hmm. um, because you know you look at, and I'm not taking anything away from anybody that was on the the committee to build the new police department, but there's there's nobody on there that knows anything about building. You know, you look at the plaque, and I'm like, well. This is the reason, and I'm not saying I, you no, know, no, they I volunteered their time, and I'm yeah. sure they did the best yeah. they could at the yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. But now, if we have one committee that it's under, at least all the problems should go back to us. If something goes wrong, then mm -hmm. this whole building screwed up. Not the Wasam committee, not the Park and Rec, not whatever. It's the building should be under us now. Now, as for the the school, we've hired an owner's rep that is very reputable and very and he's excellent, and he is. I mean, I am more than confident that. He's got things under control. And he's got the expertise. But he has a, that's what he does for a living. He's a right. bright guy. He's, he's bringing in, he's he's bring in a guy to review the, the details on the roof. You know, everything. They're designed to. He's going to have somebody review that before. It's we don't want to go to the new school roof right now. Oh, right. <laughs> he's VAC. Yeah, I mean, it, all that stuff is a totally, that's a totally different project. First of all, it's all, the state tells you different things you have to do. I mean, it's, it's run because they're giving you so much money that, it's run by the way they have to do it. It's it's different. Yeah. Than no. Okay. The old okay. Or I'm not like you. Right. Basically, I just want to thank the committee for you know you guys for coming down and helping straight out. I mean that's and they and that's what we a lot that's what we should do. Yes. That's wonderful. No, they're and yeah. that right. They're doing yeah. the library yeah. out too. Right. Instead of having the police department or you know or the the library have to take care of it, they shouldn't have to do that. Yeah. That's not their expertise. expertise. Right. Okay, so what basically the request is, is, is to take the, the, the CEC Which is how much? We have 30,000. 30, it's in this current year budget. But basically, because the original intent was to buy the spoiler, we're not going to do that. And it may change, you know, we're, I don't know where that's headed, Carol. So, but they, before HVAC. we do that, you really have to look at the current system. system. HVAC system upgrade. Correct. I'll make the motion. Okay. Second. Uh, discussion on that any further? It's got to go to Board of Finance. Okay. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Such a motion carries. Thank you.